Iwagwan YouTube, Wagwan, J Channel TV HD. We out here with a blast from the past. We have got the Nexus 9 in the building, made by HTC and designed by Google, or made by Google and designed by HTC. One of them, I'm not too sure, come out like what, three years ago, sometime in like October, November, these times. So basically, everything about this tablet is three years old. But um, it's a it's a Google Nexus, and it's got the latest Android 7.1.1. Well, okay, as I'm speaking, it's 7.1.1. But obviously, we got Android 8 coming out, and I think it's stopping at 7.1.1. But obviously, there might be more room for you know some homebrew um to root the tablet and get Android 8 on it. But yeah, we're gonna do a little 7.1.1 review. Um, I'm just gonna remind you of the specs quickly. It's an 8.9 inch display. 1536 by 2048 resolution. So we already higher than HD and that is a surprise for something that's three years old. Um, you've got two cameras, um, or 1.7 megapixel on the front, which is obviously not going to take the sexiest um, selfies, but it's good enough for webcamming, I'm assuming. Um, you've got an 8 megapixel camera on the back um, with a flash. I've never really seen a flash on a tablet, but yeah, if you want to... I don't know, take pictures in the dark with a tablet instead of your phone. I, I guess that's a possibility. You can do that. Um, we've got a 67 milliamp, 6700 hour, pardon me, milliamp battery going on in here. Um, and realistically, what that meant for me was three days plus of battery without charging. But the charging is so slow. And I don't know if it's because I'm used to the OnePlus 5 charging in like just over an hour. But I think it's like three hours plus for charging this tablet all the way. But at least once you've charged it, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it for like the next three days. So that's calm for me. Um, you've got two gigabyte RAM, which is not really going to do much in this day and age. But, you know, we're going to test it for you and show you what it does. Um, you've got an NVIDIA K1 processor in there. That's 2.3 gigahertz. I'm not too sure if it's quad core or dual core. But all I know is that it's the same processor that was in the NVIDIA, you know, Tigra Shield tablet. Um, and that tablet was geared for gaming. So it's quite a decent processor. And I'm really interested in seeing the gaming performance for this tablet. The GPU is also NVIDIA. It's a Kepler DX1 with 192 cores. So there must be some kind of gaming performance or gaming potential in this tablet, even though it's three years later. Um, but just by the by, even though it's a tablet, it's got NFC. It's got Bluetooth 4.1 and it's got 802.11 AC Wi-Fi inside. So, um, yo, we are good to go connectivity-wise. I think the only thing it's missing is wireless charging. And it's a bit massive to put on a little wireless charging um, dock anyway. So, yeah, this is the tablet. Um, we're going to just go through a couple of my normal apps and see how, you know, the tablet handles it. We'll jump into, let's jump into like Instagram for for a start anyway. Um, we've only got two gig RAM. I don't think anything else is open. No, it's not. So yeah, we'll go into Instagram, do a bit of scrolling. It seems to be quite decent. I, I'm not lying. The performance of this is quite decent. Once something is loaded into memory, um, it's kind of good to go. So we're going to just um, leave that to the side right now. I'm going to jump into Twitter. I think I've got Twitter going on there. Um... Yeah, there we go. Quite quick, even though my Wi-Fi is very dead. Uh, Twitter seems to be all right. That's the Shield tablet I was talking about. That's also got the same processor as this. But um, yeah, there you go. That's all good to go. Got a couple of mentions there or something going on there. I'm not even too sure. Um, you know, that's quite decent. Where else can we go to? I think Chrome is where the tablet starts to starts to crumble in terms of RAM. Um, like I've got three, you know, tabs open there at the top. If I go into each one of them, I'm sure it's going to have to reload the page, as you can see. Um, you know, let me go into this Amazon page now. And now they should be all loaded. So let me just go back into one of the previous ones I just came from. There we go. That one's good. That one's still in memory. That's really good. The Nexus 9 page. And that one is still in memory. Well, it's not completely loaded, but, you know, it's still there. So, yeah, quite decent performance. Um... The scrolling is very smooth. Like, I'm not going to lie. The scrolling is really nice. Um, yeah, quite decent. Some dodgy advertisements going on down there. Um, let's try and open another page. 
Um, please excuse the big tip mama house going on down there. I am not sure what that's about. <laughs> um, we'll open another Amazon page. I mean, we'll try to. Um, unless it doesn't. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so yeah, there. Got a little Amazon page going on there. This is where I do my most of my Amazon reviews and then I put them on YouTube after. Um, but yeah, in terms of scrolling performance, it seems quite decent, but that page nearly went out of memory. Let's try the CEX page to see if that's still in memory. Oh, yeah, it still is. And let's try the Nexus 9 page, and that is still in memory as well. So let's try and go back to, like, Instagram now, or Twitter, even. Um, yeah, see, there's a bit of lag there between when I pressed it and when it actually went onto the page. But apart from that, um, I think the performance is quite decent. Obviously, the RAM is, you know, a bottleneck here, serious bottleneck. But if I go into Instagram, um, it's, it's quite decent. I do like the performance of this tablet, and especially for 150 I'm not sure whether you can find many tablets that would have a better performance. Not at that price range and not at this, you know, screen size and screen quality. Um, mind you, you know, the speakers on it are very lit as well. Um, my only problem is the speed it takes to charge. Um, and, well, I can't really say the camera's a problem because it's a tablet and we all know what tablet cameras are like. You know, they're for desperate times. Um, you're not one of the please don't be one of those people that try and take a picture at a family gathering with your tablet just don't be if you're that person this is not the channel for you <laughs> just don't, don't be that person please just try not to be a better person apart from that yeah it's decent got the pixel launcher on there so I'm scrolling up um, scrolling down I can put my widgets on there calendar and stuff like that um, the whole interface is kind of cool the only problem as I said is with the RAM the RAM is the major bottleneck here. Um, let's try, let's try and play a game. How many? How long have I been recording for? Seven minutes. Um, let's just try and play a game and see see how that goes. Might have to fast forward some of this. There we go. It's just loading. All right, let's go. There you go. It looks quite decent. Can you guys see that? I like the whole bigger screen thing that's going on there. It looks quite live. There you go. Oh! Oh! There we go, there we go. Yeah. Not this time. Woo! Okay. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, so it's quite decent. It's playing a couple of games. I'm going to try and play some more serious games on it in a while. But um, just for now... There you go, guys. The Nexus 9, three years later. It's good for a bit of light browsing. Um, you might want to just open maybe one web page at a time to, you know, spread that RAM as far as you can. You might want to just close all the apps and only open one app at a time. But once you're in an app and you're doing whatever you need to do, it's got the horsepower to push along and power those little applications with that NVIDIA K1. So yeah, I'd say quite a decent tablet. Um, quite good, you know, for the price. Um, you know, if you do know of a better tablet for like 150 around that price, um, with a good screen and, you know, decent power um, in terms of performance and a bit more better RAM, please let me know. But as far as I know, the Nexus 9 is definitely the winner. It's quite lightweight as well. Um, I'd love to show you the design in the back, but I'll put stickers all over it. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. And if you have, I will catch you in the next one. Uh, thanks for watching. Jay Jamo out.